When Google approached us, he asked for an immersive experience instead of YouTube's small world live stream event. Our proposition was to create a 3D particle engine that people would interact with while they were watching the live stream. The overarching message was customization, thematically integrating Motorola's Moto X customizable phones. It was important for us to create different ways of interacting with the site, which is why we introduced a second screen experience. People would connect to the website and be able to play with the physics, the particles, and create their own 3D worlds. The UI is simple and easy to use, and lets the user feel like they're really in control of their Tomorrow World experience. Our challenges were time and the abundance of designs. Our solution was to develop a code-based tool where our creatives and designers could design their own backgrounds, and more importantly, without a developer. This allowed our developers to concentrate on performance and backend, while our designers were able to design right up to the event. When Google approached us, uh, we already had a toy that we'd been developing in R&D, uh, which was an interactive particle engine built in WebGL. This engine that we created just needed some crucial functionality, uh, just things to make it high performance and really easy to create content for. This tool was huge for us. By far the most innovative tool we've ever done before. It included some of the features that Photoshop has, Cinema 4D, and After Effects. We moved the developers, designers, and art directors into one single pod so they could quickly turn to one another, get the answers they need when they needed it. It was a cool event, and we hope that what we produced helped translate some of the spirit of what went on there into the digital space.